here now with senior defenseman Brian Hopper. Brian, thanks for joining us on the program. Anytime, um, anytime. First off, I, basically what we're talking about here today is uh, this is your fourth year in the ACHA Division I hockey. Um, so we just wanted to kind of get some of your recollections about your four years and and uh, looking forward maybe to your hockey career after the ACHA, you know? Yeah, I mean, it's it's been great. Uh, it's been an experience coming here to Eastern. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, you know, starting off at U of M Dearborn was definitely an experience, but, uh, you know, getting to come here, play hockey with my cousin, and, uh, you know, a lot of, met a lot of good people here, and uh, so it's, it's been fun, it's been fun. Was the main reason coming uh, from UMD to Eastern that you wanted to play with your cousin? Is that one of the main reasons, uh, or you, you just needed you, to change, or? You know, I mean, it did play a big part. Uh, I was living with him at the time, and, uh, you know, uh, Things weren't going the way I wanted to at U of M Dearborn, and I was offered, uh, you know, something else here. So I just figured, you know, why not? And uh, it took a while for me to transfer, and uh, you know, I still miss my boys back there, but uh, right. I want to change it for the world. Right. So this is your beginning of your fourth year now. You got three seasons behind you. Um, what teams did you look forward to playing the most? <laughs> That's a tough one. I mean, anytime you get to play the national champs in their building. Uh, you know, really looking forward to that. That's going to be experience. They pack the place there. It's fun. Ohio is another good one. But, uh, you know, I can't really say who I'm really looking forward to. I mean, playing Western, they're a chippy team. They're a good squad. It's going to be fun playing them. But, uh, I mean, really every game is one I really look forward to to play. What about a favorite rink in the league? Illinois. You like By Illinois, far. Huh? It's, uh, you know, they'll, they'll chirp you. They'll let you know. They don't like you too much. And, uh, you okay. know, it's... It definitely makes you think about you know where you're at for a second, but it, it's uh, it's definitely a lot of right. fun. So what's your plans after this year? Graduate. You know, you're gonna, hopefully you're gonna you know, graduate. Yeah, obviously, graduate. get a good job. Uh, you're gonna keep playing hockey, hopefully, right? I would love to coach somewhere. You know, uh, somewhere. definitely stay somewhere. You know, uh, in the hockey world. You know, obviously this is a sport that everyone loves here, so right. it's uh, definitely stay somewhere affiliated, maybe with Eastern. You know, that'd be that'd be great. Here with senior captain Ryan Connolly. Uh, Ryan, senior year, it seems like it's gone very fast here. I think one of the few players, or maybe the only player on this team that you, uh, I was here when you got here, <laughs> you know, and uh, we've been through a lot together, and uh, it's going to be sad that this is your last season, but uh, looking back on it, you know, what's some of your favorite memories in that? There's been, uh, I mean, you can take any moments from any of those four years. There's a lot of ups and, and there's a lot of downs. As you know, we've been through a lot together. Yep. Um, no, one of the things, you know, I'd like to, my favorite moments is just being with the guys. I mean, you can't be playing with 25 guys all year long. I mean, we become a family, you know, from where you start, when you start in August to when you finish in February, March, you know, um, it's, it's an experience you're going to take with you. It's friendships you're going to take on for the next, for the rest of your life. Um, so, you know, I guess my experience here has been meeting the friends that I've met, you know, guys have already graduated. This year being a senior, meeting the freshmen, and being a leader for those guys. Is there a game that uh, up to this point that you look back on and you just, it just always sticks out in your mind when you think of maybe a favorite game or a favorite moment for you? Well, I guess uh, one of the games that always sticks out to me was uh, beating Ohio last year. Um, I didn't beat Ohio my first three seasons, or first two seasons, and uh, so playing Ohio last year in our home rink and beating them, um, that was a big win, um, just because they're a big rival, and uh, it's always a good game. So it was nice to finally beat Ohio, and hopefully right. we can follow up with that this year. Do you remember your first goal at Eastern? Uh, yeah, I do actually. It was uh, the first game I played in. Um, it was against Davenport. It was uh, my freshman year. Um, so yeah, that was my first goal, and I think it was also in the first period. So it was nice to get out of the way right away. Right. Any favorite rinks in the ACHA you love to go to? Well. You know, as most guys will say, you like going to Ohio, you like going to Illinois. Those are great rinks to play in. But I, personally, I like playing U of M Dearborn. Um, it's a big rival. Um, it seems like we pack the rink here and there for the split for that weekend. So I really enjoy playing in those games. Yep. So uh, what do you do after graduation next spring? Hopefully find a job and, uh, yeah. you know, move on and uh, put the hockey in the past and get a job and go from there. Yeah. And, and as far as hockey, though, I, I can't see you ever getting out of hockey, you know? And, and you do coach hockey now on the side, right? Yeah, I, uh, right now I coach a JV team uh, out in Dexter with uh, another Eastern alumni player. And um, 
coach out there, and of course, you know, I I enjoy coaching, and I will probably be doing that the rest of my life. Yeah. Or hope to at least. Well, I, I think you might too. Yeah. So, here with Joachim Nilsson. Uh, Joachim, we're doing a feature on seniors okay. of the uh, of the team. Obviously, uh -huh. this is your fourth year uh, in the ACHA. Yep. Your first year, I think, was spent at Robert Morris, right? Oh, no, Davenport. Oh, Davenport, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. which was D2, so uh, okay. up in Grand Rapids there for a while. Okay. What do you remember most about your four years? Um, uh, one at Davenport, three now, or going on in the third year? Um, just... The three years here, I've just loved uh, meeting all new people, and uh, you know, it's, it's been a lot of fun. It's, the plus is playing hockey. And is there a uh, favorite team that you always look uh, forward to playing? Oh yeah, it's uh, going into Illinois. It's always fun, and uh, Ohio, the uh, the big teams there. They got a good crowd, and uh, and uh, it always gets physical. So, yeah. Um, What's your most memorable game moment with the Eastern? I think it was uh, last year. We uh, we beat Ohio here at the Ice Cube, and uh, I actually had a goal that game. And, yeah. Uh, Any favorite rinks? That you love, just love to play at. Can't wait till you get there. Uh, you know, I, I don't want to say Illinois, but I like their fans because they chirp you. Um, <laughs> um, but I don't really like their ice sheet. You know, it's a, it's a weird size they got over there. It's not really um, NHL size or anything. I don't know. They got their own, right. their own size of a rink over there. So. Right. So, so what, are, what are your plans once you graduate in the spring and that? Uh, hopefully, to find a job somewhere. Um, yeah. I'm trying to get into uh, something with international business, um, maybe hopefully in Europe somewhere, um, mm -hmm. if I can uh, get a hookup from uh, my dad right. or something, right. something like that. You're actually here on a green card, right? Yep. 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 What exa does that allow you to stay here for only a certain amount of years? or? No, that's uh, you just got to keep getting it renewed. Uh -huh. um, but I also want to try to get dual citizenship uh, one day, so hopefully yeah. uh, that so will help me out. Is your long-term goal to go back to Sweden? Yeah, you know, either that or travel with business some, yeah. somewhere. I mean, yeah. I'm not really set on a place yet. But, yeah, uh, it'd be nice to go back for a little. While. It's been uh, it's been a couple years since I've been back there, and uh, yeah. so. the tough games just keep coming. And this weekend's ACHA showcase is a prime example. The ACHA showcase starts out at 8 p.m. on Friday against the Westchester Golden Rams. The Golden Rams had a 27-8-2 record last season and finished 10th in the ACHA Division I National Tournament. They are ranked 10th in the ACHA preseason poll. Easton will be their third game this season and they bring a lot of firepower to the contest. Number 8 Jim Gehring led the team in points last season with 104. In 37 games he scored 53 goals and had 51 assists. He helped his team by scoring 13 power play goals. Second in team scoring was number 32, Pat Johnson. In 35 games, Johnson scored 50 goals with 43 assists for a total of 93 points. 25 of Johnson's goals were on the power play. These two players are just the tip of the iceberg in a deep scoring roster. The Eagles will have to play a full 60 minutes to have a chance to win. Saturday's game doesn't get any easier when the Eagles take on the Delaware Blue Hens. The Hens' record last season was 29-7-1, and they finished third in the ACHA National Tournament. They lost one of their top scorers from last year, number nine, Justin Wernberg, who had 42 points, but that void should be filled nicely by two other returning players. Number 25, Mike Gardner, played 35 games last year with 23 goals and 37 assists for 60 points. He was a threat on the power play, scoring 10 power play goals. Number 26, Justin Sexton, looks to continue his scoring streak where he left off last season. In 35 games, he scored 13 goals, had 29 assists for a total of 42 points. He also had six power play goals. This game could be the hardest contest of the weekend for the Eagles. Sunday's game is an afternoon contest against Penn State Burks. They have won five straight Delaware Valley Collegiate Hockey Conference Championships. They will have 14 returning players. Two of the most dangerous players are Number 15, Brandon Pike. Last year he played 23 games and scored 16 goals with 13 assists for a total of 29 points. He scored five power play goals for Penn State. Also returning is number 11, Dave Mulhern. Mulhern played 23 games last season and scored six goals, had 14 assists for a total of 20 points. This should be the Eagles' easiest contest of the weekend, but never underestimate your opponent.